part two. So, first card is collaborative dreaming. They're so beautiful. So collaborative dreaming is um, talking about, you know, your three bodies, physical, emotional, spiritual, and how um, you need to pay attention in all of those planes. So um, dream world, dream time is very important. That's where we um, get to speak to our guides and uh, where we get some answers. So if there are things that are bothering you in this time of turmoil and so much busyness in the universe right now, um, people have been telling me that they're feeling like they're coming out of body, they're having lots of emotions and things like that and they don't understand and old things are coming up. So and they're looping, they're having thoughts that loop in a cycle. So, you know, if that kind of thing is happening for you, just um, take a bit of tobacco. If you don't have loose tobacco, take a piece of a cigarette, put it under your pillow, and ask your guides to come in and give you some answers while you're sleeping. Um, we are living a, another life in dream world. So that's a really good way to get some answers, which is actually the term sleep on it. That's where that comes from. So that's um, that card. And then we have a Legacy of Light. Very beautiful card. Um, this card um, shows the light force um, in the ancestral line. Um, if you are the center person yourself and your descendants. It can also represent the light within um, as you change through um, through life, as you're a child um, and an adult and um, starting to get wiser. <laughs> so it shows um, how the light moves through those, those uh, stages. And we never lose that that innocent light when we're born. And then we have releasing allegiances. So, um, lots of times we hang on to so many things that we don't need. And um, that's what this card is talking about is, um, you know, maybe not letting things go, but putting them down, stepping away from them. You know, be more in relationship with yourself and trust more in your own intuition than that of others. Because um, you know, you we hold everything that we need to know within us. So it's talking about, you know, your boundaries, um, not having too many um, people to go to, with varying opinions, it gets confusing, that kind of thing. And the next card, is softly, softly the tender touch. So here it speaks about um, how we are hard on ourselves and we really, really need to be gentle with ourselves. Forgive ourselves, you know, start over. Don't take things too seriously. You know, just, you know, if you get out of hand, sometimes we do apologize, you know, just apologize. Always you know, ask your guides before you speak. Just wait, just wait a moment. We don't, we don't need to be too fast to answer. Just let things come out with compassion and empathy and trying to think, reframe our thinking, um, trying to see where that person you're talking to um, is coming from. So it's talking about, you know, being soft with yourself and with others. The next card, she feels she knows. This is an empath card. A lot of people feel um, things from others. And then you know what's happening with the people around you. The places you go, um, the energies around you. But the trick is not to let that um, upset your balance. So to be able to know the difference to be able to move things to high heart so that you can breathe easier. So one thing you can do is just, just take a breath when the energies are too much. 
breathe in and make the breath move hold your breath and then move the energy to your higher heart and release it and it helps move that energy this card here power of attraction um, so we all know that um, theory of what you think is what you attract your vibration is um, also affecting what you attract so always try to keep yourself in a higher vibration so that you can attract those higher vibrational things and through all of this chaos it's really important to keep a high vibration to not let fear control you to not give too much attention to um, the things going on today to focus on service to focus on your light and to focus on self-healing that's that's where the focus should be and the next card is seeing the true you so you know being honest with yourself looking at yourself um, taking out everything reorganizing um, changing your perspective on things and just just taking the time to be with yourself to, to just reflect on who you are how you got here why you're here what is your purpose all of those things meditation reflection um, are important at this time so if you can do that being in nature um, you can see she's uh, at the water um, being near the water taking care of yourself We're, we are made 80 percent water so it's important to connect with the water water element and then the last card is inner trust so all of these cards kind of link up together where especially with the releasing allegiances um, and legacy of light and being soft with yourself and seeing the true you you know and having inner trust inner trust in your abilities inner trust in your wisdom inner trust in your capability to heal yourself trust in your intuition um, and not feel like you have to um, hide what you think and feel that you can speak your truth just trust yourself and go with it and sometimes when we do that power of attraction um, let's say we're um, speaking our truth and somebody of a lesser vibration is in front of you they they may not accept um, your truth and they may walk away and they may walk away upset but that's okay um, just don't um, lower your frequency you want to keep rising your frequency and you know they'll come back another day another month another year and um, they'll want to catch up with you and then you'll be able to um, still treat them with softness so yeah this this is the uh, reading we got um, this week and I'll be posting the um, pages in the book so if you want to read further um, each card that was pulled today um, it will be posted as well so thank you and have a really good week miigwech